and this drill to rally back and forth and I want the approach up today, what's today's topic, I want that out of a rallying ball. So we go middle to middle, I give him on purpose a short ball and I make him attack every single time to my backhand. So that's the first drill we're going to do. Alright guys, so this is going to be seven, eight points uh, we played and I will address the approach out in the volley and I'll put it on slow-mo. As I said, we rally back and forth until I give Brody, my student, a short ball on purpose. And then we're gonna go on the technical part right here. All right, so on this ball here, I give him short. So he sees now that the ball, where the ball's gonna go, it's traveling a little bit, right? So if you pay attention to him right here, he doesn't move one step inside the court. So he's right there. And he stays where he is and waits for the ball and loads behind the baseline. So the biggest mistake that happened, he had enough time to watch that ball. And in this moment, he should have just stepped inside the court. And why? Because now when you look at the ball, it's bouncing. He could have hit the ball right here now in this moment at this height instead of waiting for the ball at the baseline and hitting the ball too high up for where he's standing. So if he would have stepped inside the court, he could have hit the ball right there, drive through that ball and hit a great approach shot. But he waited too long, he didn't move in and he hit the ball too high and it went right in the net. Let's get straight to the next one. Always make sure that you step inside the court if you get a short ball. Here we go, we're rallying again. As I said, I just wanted to back and forth rally with him until I give him a short ball and the goal was always to attack to my backhand. Here we go, good rally, good movement. Now he comes in. And it's totally off on the volley and I want to show you why here we go so the approach shot this time you see he had this drop step forward right here which he did well now so he moved in this was good he climbed up on that ball the contact was a little bit lower so he's driving through the ball which is good too all right and then he goes runs up but he doesn't pay attention. Look where the ball is going. So the pathway of the ball, if you look at it, is kind of like here. And he sees that, right? So now, if you see the ball is coming, or for him, if you see it's coming that way, in this moment, he should have run just a little bit more in that direction from the beginning. So right here, he hits the approach. Here he sees where the ball is going to go to. In this moment already, he had to adjust and get shift his weight, body weight, body movement more to the right. And then he couldn't do that anymore. And then he had to stretch out and didn't have a good contact point. So those little details make a big change. Here he has to see already where the ball is going to go. In this moment, he has to decide to cut the angle in a 45 degree to have a chance to hit this ball and therefore he hits it right there and can con cannot control that volley anymore. All right, let's get to the next one. I'll give him the short one. And he hits it again in the net and I'll show you why. So the ball comes and look how far away he is here. He lets the ball drop again. So now again, the ball comes. He has enough time, right? Pay attention, guys. When you see the ball, you want to get the ball right after the bounce when it gets a little bit about net height so you can drive through the ball. So it would have been a perfect contact point right now right now right here in this moment but he lets it drop again and hits it right here and that's too low and on top of it for my taste it's a little bit too far on the side of his body as well 
So important is though to make sure that he should have hit the ball right here and he should have shifted quicker forward to be in that position to hit the ball now at almost at the highest point after the bounce and drive through that ball and hit kind of like forward down instead of letting it drop and try to hit up on that ball and the ball is just too low here and then he hits it in the net. All right, let's get to the next one. Right. We have a good rally again, back and forth, and here we go, I give him a short ball, he comes in, runs up, and the same thing like earlier, here we go, I win the point, but the same thing like earlier, so th this time, you know, he, he hits the ball, balances right here, right, right here. He should have been, again, way c closer to the ball, so moving quicker forward in, so he should have hit the ball right here. That's a good height right here to step in and hit it, and he hits the ball right there, which is, for my taste, again, too high. He should have been, again, three steps more inside the court so he can penetrate the ball better. So he comes in on this ball, which is all right, and then, he again, same thing again like the curve of the other ball earlier what we had in the video so the ball goes like here he sees that so when he sees as soon as he sees it comes off the racket there he has to make the decision again to run more this direction see how his feet everything points forward that quick step Right here, quick split step, and then changing the direction and going more to the right of his body. But now he's right there, and all he can do is just to block the ball a little bit, and then I'm running up there, and I have an easy passing shot. So same thing again. Pay attention to the where the trajectory of the ball, where the ball is going to be, and you have to change your movement according to that. You can't just wait and, and, and hit that ball from too far away. And the next point we're playing... I just want to go through all those points I want to show you guys the main things on those videos were stepping in, right? Getting closer to the net to penetrate the ball better and having the ball a little bit lower and not as high on the, on the contact point and then the changing direction. Okay, he comes in, split steps and solves the ball. The solution was really good, so there's a really good one. And again, on the short ball here, he could have been a tiny bit more aggressive, but he keeps good balance here, closes in. The split step right here was at the good moment right now. So like in the other videos, he didn't have a good split step. So in this moment, the split step is good. So you can decide now to hit this uh, half volley, and then he absorbs the pace good and hits a good shot there. So that was a good one. go and as I said the main things are seeing the ball where the, the trajectory of the ball is important here again short ball all right he steps in which is good he comes in and maintains calm in the upper body so that's another good one I like so as you see earlier he liked to stay back on this one he's good now he stepped in so the ball is not too high for the contact he can drive through the ball here Right, so it's a good approach shot, good and deep. Then he sees in this ball, what I like now, and this one, what he did correct is he changed his movement to go to the middle because he saw the trajectory of the ball correct in this case before he didn't. So that was a good reason to go in the middle to hit the ball correct. And now look what I like. He's holding, loading the outside leg. I would like the left hand a little bit closer to to his hitting arm. So he has he's a little bit more balanced. As you see, his left hand is just hanging down. So that would give him a little bit more stability. But his upper body is pretty calm and good. Good balance. And then he just m manipulates the ball really well and just puts it in a corner. So that was a great point of my student right there. 
All right, one more, two more guys, and then uh, I hope, as I said, those those videos are gonna help to see actually real cases, what, what what's happening on the court. So those are always good. All right, perfect scenario again. Same mistake as earlier. He has enough time now. The board's traveling, right? To step forward and run in. He just stands there and loads already. Although the ball is just traveling, traveling. Look where the ball bounces. Right here. And he should have hit the ball already right there. That would have been, again, a good contact point for him to hit the ball at this height. But he waits for that ball to be, again, up here. Not a good position. Look how far he is away from the from the court he's on the baseline he should be so much more inside the court at the moment and this, the point is too high again he hits down on the ball and it goes to the net tape he the same thing with him being two three feet inside the court same same scenario with him being like somewhere right here looks way different than that ball that goes in the net tape that ball go, go over the net but He's just too far away from that from that ball. And another one. Here we go. Give him a short ball. Now on this short ball, he comes in well. So the ball goes over, right? So he stepped in. And then this ball is just like, he just blocks it back and I lob it over him. So easy, easy point for me. But what I want to point out is, so he on the approach shot this time again when he come so when he comes in and moves inside the core right now you guys have momentum going for you which is great and then if the contact is a little bit higher doesn't it's not so bad anymore because you're inside the court and you can push that ball down like this and hit it over so that's a different story than being right on the baseline and then now he just gets sloppy with this ball not a good high ball with the back end to go uh, to the do side of the opponent, right? So I got this easy. A good shot in this scenario is actually not to jump up, to stand where you are. He jumps up to, to, to have a show ball, but this short ball here, this is a great shot. Instead of going deep back because he was in the air, couldn't control it, staying longer on the ground, not jumping up. And just hitting a nice short angle, that would have been a good one. This was an easy lob for me, so I could win that point. So play the angles. It's very important. Play smart. Sometimes hitting the ball deep back is not the right solution, like in the last point. A drop shot or a short slice, uh, short volley, cross court would have been great. Here we go. I give him the short ball again on purpose. I move already. It's easy for me. I move to the other side. He comes in, which is not bad, and the ball, I just pass him because the ball was not deep enough. But at least, again, here, he moves in, right? So he hits the approach shot, doesn't look where it bounces, so that's not... I know I was already on the side, but this is not a good depth of the ball, obviously, to there for the bounce. So for me, easy to go and pass him right here. Easier shot, down the line as well. In this scenario, if someone doesn't hit deep, you can go down the line if you feel comfortable, but always what a good shot is, hit like a ball right to their feet or pass them cross court. But in this scenario, he just hits too short, right? So he comes in, he hit an okay approach shot, he was hitting it in front of him, but it was simply too too short. All right, the next one. It's like 12, 13 balls, just... As I said, I want to show you guys different scenarios, how he approaches, just different points. Okay, so this one here, hit it back, and he doesn't come in because, again, in this scenario right here, he moves a little bit in, but he lets the ball again, what, drop too low. You cannot penetrate the ball from here because you have to hit up on that ball. So if he moves in quicker... Because the ball, where did the ball bounce? It bounced right here. And this is the main issue I have to address with him. If the ball bounces so short, he has to get his butt forward to the net as quick as he can. He has to get up there so he can hit the ball at the higher point. Now he drops it again and doesn't put any depth on there. So it's way easy. It's not deep enough. And then I can go cross court 
with that one and he can't do anything with that because the ball was too short and he let the ball drop on the approach out again. And one more. I give him another short boy here. He moves in a little bit better, but still he has to move quicker in and he lets the ball. The ball what? Drops again. You want to hit the ball when it's at the peak right here. That's when you can hit that ball forward down and attack it. And it drops and he hits it again too far away and it goes into the net. So all those approach shots, guys, all those balls coming in, the main issue he, he had, my student had, was dropping the ball too low and not moving in on the short balls, not running fast enough forward uh, to, to volley the ball and not being aggressive enough. So I hope that, guys, that helped you a little bit. I love those videos because it's like real scenarios and you can see how the player, um, what they do and how they hit it. As I said, most important thing is hit the ball at the apex on the short ball and move into the ball so you can hit forward down on the approach shot. And the next thing is watch the trajectory of the ball that's coming back after the approach so you're not too far away from the ball so you so you can contact the volley at the right spot. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. The next one is coming very soon. And as always, if you like what we do, please take a second to subscribe and turn the notifications button on.